I really want to reintroduce you to Magic Mind who is collaborating with me on this video and they are an amazing amazing company that creates these really cool shots which allow creatives like me and like you to stay productive and in the creative flow state throughout their morning and day. I've been on this 14 day challenge to be more productive and just be the best self I can be. So of course since it's NaNoWriMo we need to be productive and I think going down below and clicking that link right now and getting yourself a magic mind box is probably the best thing you can do to ensure you stay productive during that NaNoWriMo. Upon reflection, the number one thing that has happened to me really so far through taking on this challenge is the fact that Magic Mind has allowed me to just reduce distractions. I think distractions really got in the way of my productive creative flow state where I would be doing something productive and something I really love and I'm just like fully immersed in it, but distractions would just lead me away from that and disrupt my whole state. I've been able to go from task to task and it's just been so, so great because I've been getting so much more done so definitely click down below and use this code for a percent off your order and of course thank you so much magic mind for allowing us creatives to be more productive So yes, good morning everyone. Welcome to NaNoWriMo. This is vlog one on my channel. If you didn't know, I'm going to be literally vlogging my whole process of writing this book that I'm going to be writing for this challenge. So you can keep updated on my project and also stay motivated when you are actually writing your own project too. So firstly, I want to kind of talk about my feelings of NaNoWriMo and yeah, kind of how I'm feeling November 1st and what's going through my mind. So if you didn't know, I actually have never um, completed NaNoWriMo before. So this is the first time I'm actually, you know, doing it. And I've been doing a lot of like preparation and like tips and trick videos for you guys because it also has helped me so much prepare for NaNoWriMo. I honestly am feeling pretty confident, pretty excited and just extremely thrilled to be um, able to participate in this challenge. I know a lot of you guys aren't able to because of school and work and I feel so terrible because I feel like November should just be like everyone's month off to just write a book and it's so so fun. And I think since I do have a really good plan and I've prepared extremely well for this, I still get a little bit nervous that I'm like oh my gosh I'm gonna have to you know write a good first draft but I think something to reflect upon that is that no your first draft doesn't need to be the best. Technically I already have a zero draft which is like my plot chapter plan document but my first draft I always get I feel like this is with every writer but I always get so scared about it not being perfect which of course it doesn't have to be perfect it just needs to be the story really 
So as a reminder, if you are creating your first book and your first draft, it doesn't have to be perfect. Anyways, um, this is my um, document right here and I'm going to go ahead and actually start writing. I like, oh guys, I'm kind of scared. Ah. So I'm going to go ahead and start writing my first chapter. I am so, so excited. Again, I just want to quickly say, if you do need help, some motivation for writing, definitely check out my other videos, which will help you plan, which will help you stay motivated and everything like that. And I really hope they help. And of course, yes, yeah, stay tuned for these vlogs, which are going to be coming up very, very soon. But let's go ahead and get on to chapter one. Let's go. Just need a little time And I've been so patient Quietly waiting for someone my type To come on But maybe I won't ever be enough Maybe I'm not meant to find love Okay, so I'm going to be creating a new blank document ah, This is my document I'm going to be writing And oh my gosh, I'm going to go ahead and set it up ah, I'm so excited Waiting just a little too much for someone to tell me I'm the one. When is my turn to feel a little love in my life? My turn, cause I've been feeling lonely at night. Wondering if my question's being heard. When is my turn? Cause I've been trying not to be complicated Let them understand how I'm operating Or maybe I'm a little awkward lately And I don't know what I should do Another year and I'm still alone My mom's the only one who ever rings the phone Asking when I'm gonna find the one to hold When I have been wondering too Wondering who's gonna come out of the blue Love me like I ever knew My turn Say I'm the one that they choose Say that they'll love me and they'll never move on That's all I find But no one comes No When is my turn? Cause all my friends are falling in love My turn Been waiting just a little too much For someone to tell me I'm the one When is my turn To feel a little love in my life My turn Cause I've been feeling lonely at night Wondering if my question's being heard When is my turn Waiting for my dreams to come true But my wishes never seem to go through Wondering if I ever hear those so I just finished my first writing session and if you didn't know for my sessions I'm doing uh, kind of like 45 minute sessions where I do 20 minutes of writing, 5 minute break, 20 minutes of writing. I've written 568 words which actually is really good because I'm kind of on track to my um, word count goal which is I think 1,300, 1,600, 1,500 words. So I'm basically definitely on track because of course I want to do three of these sessions. So it's going to be like 500, 500, 
500 so I can meet 1,500. But how do I feel? I think definitely this session was a little bit harder than I was expecting it to be. But I kind of like also expected that because it's my first kind of chapter and sometimes it is hard to get into the groove especially when i'm just like fretting over is this the best way to start my chapter like i obviously know what's going to happen but it's just like the writing and again that's me in my brain going like anna like i need this to be perfect i think it's a good sign since i'm still under a thousand words and i'm basically at the point where where the sort of first real thing happens in the book where she meets Red, who's my main character, where she meets the ghost boys. And of course, a few things have been revealed, such as like the setting, the place she is in, her relationship with her grandmother, who she's staying with, stuff about her personality, like her just like apathetic um, sort of view on life and what she thinks about like the weather the town also have you on people uh i'm really diving into uh red and her personality and i love it i think it's such a great start and it's amazing how under 500 words or like 568 words i've been able to reveal all of those things so quickly and i think it's just because of yeah red as a person it's just so simple and amazing and i just am so excited so i'm gonna go ahead and do another writing session also if you want definitely write along with me if um you enjoy kind of writing along with me and yeah just kind of be productive with me but yeah i'm so so excited i'm gonna go ahead and do a 45 minute session and hopefully get a lot more writing done i kind of aim for maybe around 700 to 800 words if i can that's very ambitious but i feel like i can do it because i'm kind of getting back into the groove of writing i definitely think there's just a huge sort of jump between the first chapter and the second chapter which i'm kind of about to write um so yeah let's go ahead and do some writing I finished my second writing session wow um not gonna lie like when it like stopped I have this thing where I just continue writing if I'm in the mood and I think that's something that you should also keep in mind that if you're in the mood just keep writing and finish that scene until you're ready to stop like don't let the breaks stop you but um mm, I still kind of really stopped in a very interesting point because um wow it's a lot of things going on it's crazy because it's like only the second chapter and i'm like oh my goodness like <sighs> everything's happening so quickly and i'm gonna meet my characters and it's just like so exciting um and of course my word count is 1414 words which is really really good because that is very close to 1500 anyways uh yeah that's update two i'm gonna go ahead and write some more i think i might try to get up to 1800 words like honestly when you are writing just like say i've kind of said this in a lot of my tip videos but like when you are writing just say i'm gonna get up to 1800 words like just say it and you will hopefully get there and it's so so great but make sure you stay hydrated too i've not drank in since like two hours so stay hydrated also i've noticed that i'm not like listening to music and i think that's because it's been raining outside and i kind of like the rain but it's kind of stopped now so i might listen to some music now i usually just listen to brown sound and rain but i also sometimes listen to phoebe bridges because phoebe is my favorite artist ever but yeah let's go ahead and do some more writing and i'll update you on the last leg of my writing today so yeah let's go ahead and go Me, he loves me not. 
session and I am surprised at how much I wrote. So I wrote 986 words and that brings my total word count up to 2,400 words. That's almost like a thousand more than I needed to write today. I actually knew this was gonna happen. I kind of said in one of my previous videos how like I swear I'm just gonna get too excited for this project and I'm just gonna write like a whole bunch, like 3,000 words on a 1,500 word day. I like basically what I've done here. Um, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but honestly, when I said before about just like sitting down and saying, I wanna get up to 1,800 words, I got 600 more words than that and that's amazing. I am so proud of myself, so excited for this project and oh my gosh, I just wrote the most funnest scene I've ever written. Basically, I really wanna tell you guys because I promised I'll kind of spill some details about my project in these vlogs, but basically what I wrote, oh my gosh, it's so funny. Basically, the characters that are escaping the school, since all the sirens are going, they're kind of like broken, essentially. So they're kind of escaping the school and the ghost boys, who are the four ghost boys, are kind of leading Red away um, so they can break out of the school and they end up taking the school buses. And it's so funny because one of the characters called Max, he is a crazy character who just like takes risks and he's crazy and just like, I am driving this. I've always wanted to drive a school bus. So they get on the school bus and they're just driving everywhere around the town and like, they even like swerve where the principal is like trying to chase them. They swerve and the principal has to like duck out of the way. And it's so fun. And Red, who's just like, what the hell is happening? She, it takes her like a little while to realize that she's on a yellow school bus with four ghost boys driving like 150 kilometers an hour. And it's so fun. And I think it's such a refreshing sort of amazing intentional sort of um outlook of what the characters are and it's like a great sort of like first taster to my audience just like what these ghost boys are about and it's basically about them having fun taking risks and doing stupid stuff and it's so refreshing and amazing and i'm just so so excited for this project you guys have no idea so yeah, that's the vlog. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I am so excited for NaNoWriMo. It's great that I had such a great first day. If you are watching this on the 1st of November, hello, awesome. Good to see you here. I hope you're having a good start to your NaNoWriMo. But definitely stay tuned for more NaNoWriMo vlogs, which are coming up every single day. So definitely stay tuned. Ah, I'm so excited. I really hope you also check out Magic Mind. Um, definitely click the link in the description. Go ahead, go down there and um, yeah, participate in this 14 day challenge with me so we can be more productive during NaNoWriMo. And I think it's such a great way just to get in the creative flow. I mean, like look how many words I wrote today, exceeding my goals amazing so yeah definitely check out magic mind and thank you so much magic mind for collaborating with me but anyways thank you so much for watching definitely subscribe of course if you haven't already definitely subscribe and i also have a discord which is so exciting so definitely check that down below um and join the server you can chat with writers you know anytime around the world just like it's always open so just like go ahead chat with writers see how you're doing in NaNoWriMo and yeah it'll be so so fun i hope to see you there but anyways thank you for watching and i hope to see you in my next video Bye! I'm so scared! Why am I scared? I should be excited. I think when I'm talking to other people about NaNoWriMo, like, especially like one of my friends who doesn't write, he's like, oh, like, oh, you're gonna be writing your new book. And I'm like, yes, 
ain't that so exciting and then now that i'm here i'm just like ah writing the book is hard <laughs> writing the book is hard but let's go i'm not procrastinating i'm not procrastinating i'm not no